In this guide, you learn how to create the drag and drop interactions that look like this. You click on one card in one column and you can drag it to another column. Without further ado, let me show you how to build this step by step on Figma. First, add a text, call it A, right click, add auto layout, change the width to fixed width and height to fixed height. Change the width to 40 and height to 40. Change the frame name, call it card A. Change the background color to green. Change the font color to white, which is FFF. Okay, right click on card A, copy, and paste. And paste again. Now, great. So now we have three cards. Now that we have three cards, we're going to rename the second card to card B and the third card to card C. Change the background of card B to blue and the background of card C to purple. Okay. At this stage, I want you to take notice of this. Make sure that you change the card name accordingly. Okay. Over here, I have card A, card B, and card C. All right. Now, next, I will use the shape tool and create a rectangle. Create a rectangle. Select the rectangle, send it back. I'm going to change the border radius for the rectangle to 8, just to make it a bit aesthetic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give the rectangle a darker color. Now, I'm going to select all of them copy and paste now I have two columns okay I'm gonna copy it again and paste all right great now we have three columns for the second and third columns I only want to have two cards here okay and let me rename the cards accordingly just to ensure that the card name are distinct this is gonna be card D Cut E, cut F, and G. For cut D, I'm going to give it a pinkish color. For cut E, I'm going to give it a red orangey color. And cut F is going to be, I like that green. And for cut G, it's going to be a matte color will do. All right. So at this stage, again, I want you to ensure that all the card names, they are different, okay? Make sure that the card names, they are unique within the frame. All right, now, select frame, select frame, and draw a frame around these three columns. All right, now, copy frame one, copy, copy frame one, and paste again, paste here right now in frame 2 all right just to zoom out a little bit now I have frame 1 and I have frame 2 okay zooming into frame 2 in frame 2 select cut B change the rotation to 5% oops I'm gonna change the rotation to 5% you can see that cut B has been tilted select frame 2 Copy it and paste it here. Now in total, I have three frames. Frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. I'm going to zoom into frame 3. Now, select, uh, select cut B. Right click, bring to front. Okay, right click, bring to front. Now, for cut E, I want to move it down. All right. So to move it down, uh, this is what I like to do. I will select the Y position for cut C. Copy. The Y position from cut C, select E and change the Y value for cut E. Alright. And for cut B, before I move it to column, the second column, I will change the rotation from 5% to 0%. Now, for B, I'm going to use the same technique to move it to column, the second column. So I'm going to have to change the X value. I'm going to select cut D. Copy the X value, 
go to card B and change the X value. Okay? Now card B is in place. For card C, I need to move it up. Alright? So use the same technique. I will select card B, copy the Y value, the Y value from card B. Now I'm going to go to card C and change the Y value. Okay? So now we have our frame tree that look like this. Alright? Zoom out. Now for my three frames, it now look like this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to frame 1. Going to frame 1, select card B, click on prototype, go to card B, you see this plus sign, click and drag it to frame 2. Change from on click, click on it, on click, you change it to while pressing. While pressing, navigate to frame 2 with Smart Animate. Alright? Now, I'm going to go to frame 2. Frame 2. For frame 2, I'm going to click on Cut B. Still again, while I'm prototype, I will select this plus sign, click and drag it to frame 3. Instead of on click, I'm going to change it to on drag. On drag, navigate to frame 3 with Smart Animate. Alright? And now we are done. Alright? Click on frame 1. You should see this flow starting point. Mm, I don't like the name flow 1. Okay, let me just change it to start. Once you have this, you just have to click on this play sign. Open it in presentation view. Click on option, fill screen. Alright, and let's test it. Hover over to cut B, click on it, and drag it to the second column. Alright, so that's how you build a drag and drop in Figma. If you'd like to see more of this practical content that teaches you how to create interactions and components on Figma, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let me know what are the other things that you'd like to learn. Cheers!